Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's talk about how the way you put your fingers down can affect your vibrato. So it's a very good idea to remember that a lot of us put our fingers down far too hard. Right, we're using far too much muscular energy and tendon energy to get those, um, to get our fingers on the string. But you can actually play by not putting the fingers on the fingerboard at all and just by touching the string just enough like this. If you think about it, when you um, want to do vibrato, you've got to put your finger down and wiggle your finger and you want those two actions to be almost simultaneous. So if you're using split seconds to actually put your finger down using a lot of um, muscular energy and then you want to uh, do vibrato, it actually impedes your vibrato. So you've got to learn to play lightly. One of the best ways to find out if you're using too much strength to put your fingers down is to use your own hand and imagine playing something. And you can feel very, very clearly how much weight and strength you're actually using. And you can also feel just how much energy is going into putting the finger down and really how much is left for the vibrato. You can feel that your hand is tighter and using more strength than it actually needs. So the best exercise to do is really whistle uh, your tunes and your scales. Now you're actually using the muscles to actually put your fingers down there. You're just not pressing the string down. So just to remind you, the fingers always go down in a curved position and it comes from, the action comes from this knuckle here at the base of the fingers. And if you want to see some absolutely beautiful, almost ideal finger action, a left hand, uh, have a look at Hilary Hahn, especially plain Bach. Her fingers are always in the ideal position, very close to the string, always curved and ready to just go down um, and her vibrato doesn't look big but um, it's as big as you like because the fingers are going down correctly beautiful beautiful hand oh and another thing uh, some people who say practice vibrato do this and then do that and then do this and then do that <laughs> and they're depressing this first knuckle here um, it really is not done like that. Um, the finger, the fingers are always in this curved position, except um, there are a couple of exceptions when you've got very, very small hands and thin fingers. Is when you're playing double stops, say for example in Bach, and you sort of bridge over uh, to get a fifth or something like that. That's really the only time that you do that. But most people have slightly bigger hands than me and um, I wouldn't advise practicing your vibrato like that. I think the best way to do vibrato is in very short bursts at first, like that. So what you're doing is you're using your um, hand to create a movement back like that. And you're rolling the pad of your hand, your finger there. You're just rolling it. Like, just like that. So go to the second finger. Now notice that the wrist is moving because I'm really just facilitating it with the top part of my arm. And later on, if you want to do arm vibrato, the fingers are actually moving in exactly the same way. The top of the finger is rolling 
um, and the first knuckle is moving a lot and whether you want to do arm vibrato or wrist vibrato the finger does exactly the same thing so this gets the finger flexible and moving and getting used to doing that movement right so at first the wrist is moving and then the first finger so when it comes to the fourth finger put it right next to the third because it supports it and it prevents you from having any strain or straight fingers just put it right next to the third on an A flat now when you do it that way with the support of the third finger the fourth finger learns to move properly with a lot of support rather than sticking it out and letting it sort of vibrate on its own um, finds it much more difficult so that's a good tip to use the third there's a debate about whether to play vibrato above the note or below but generally um, it is better off sort of in a downwards movement because if you play uh, a lot of vibrato higher than the note a lot of your playing is going to sound quite sharp so practice the movement to start with just going backwards in practice we sort of wobble around the note really but that's for later so once you've got all your fingers a little bit more used to that you can start um, speeding it up a little bit so we were doing one, two, one, two, one. So you can do triplets. All the fingers. Then let's try it a little bit faster once you're used to that. So rather than trying to do a lot of vibrato continuously and tying your hands out, I think it's much better to do it in very short bursts like this just like that so that each individual finger gets used to the movement uh, because there is a, a bit of strength involved and there's a bit of endurance involved and there's a bit of habit forming involved so we're talking about light fingers and wobbling really and concentrating on the top part of your hand and uh, just allowing the wrist to move um, it's really to do with more the fingers rather than any other part from the wrist downwards. Don't even think about that when you're trying to form the actions like that. So I hope that something in that was helpful to you and I hope you enjoy developing your vibrato. So I'll say bye-bye for now.